So in today's video, I have six different typography resources that you really want to make use of in your graphic design workflow. And yes, I am feeling pretty sick, but the show must go on. Now the first typography resource that you want to make use of is called Fonts in Use. And again, all of the links are down below relating to all of the resources in today's video. Now this resource is really handy because you can see fonts in action all around the world. They've got a huge collection of real life situations where typography has been used in graphic design or just in general use. So say for example, I want to use Helvetica for my designs. I can go ahead and type that into the search bar at the very top and you will see people have actually found Helvetica all around the world in different uses. Now some of these are actually graphic designs and projects or some of these are just simple things like signs in Germany for example. Now you can upload your own images if you do stumble across one of your favorite fonts out there in the real world. But yeah, do use this resource to just, you know, have a look at how the typography is being used in real life situations. Now the second resource is a font library called dafont.com and many of you may know this resource, but do you know how to use it properly? So just to demonstrate, let's get a retro and take a look at the retro fonts they have on offer. Now what you should do is, you should come into the options here, and I use 200 examples, medium, and then I come into the more options right here. If you tick the public domain box, this means that the fonts that are gonna be displayed are open to you for commercial use. They're not owned by a designer, they're owned by the public. And also I forgot to check 100% free because, come on, let's face it, we all love free fonts to use on our graphic designs. So yeah, by checking public domain and also 100% free fonts, you're gonna find free commercial use fonts that you can download and use wherever you want, whenever you want. So yeah, I do love thefont.com and it is linked down below with everything else in today's video. Now moving on, we have Typography Inspiration by Inspiration Grid. They do have other categories apart from typography, but of course today we are looking at typography, so let's have a look down below at some of the inspiration they have on offer. So right off the bat, there are some really interesting additions here, and I just love looking at really awesome typography. It's one of my passions when it comes to graphic design, and it has been for a long, long time. But let's have a look at the work of this Chinese artist right here. I mean, look at the colors, look at the detail, look at the fluidity of the typography. It's really just awesome. Especially this one here. This is one of my favorites actually in the whole website. So yeah, if you want to have some inspiration for your typography, just head over to this website linked down below. Now, when it comes to understanding the basics of typography, one thing graphic designers probably should know is the technical terms for the characters. So for example, we have a foot right here. And this, of course, is the beak, and then we have the arm. But what do you think this little thing right here is actually called? That's actually a ligature. And finally, do you guys know what this is right here on the E? That, of course, is a crossbar. So yeah, this is a quick little handy cheat sheet that you can refer back to and brush up your knowledge on the technical terms of typography. The fifth edition today is animated typography fonts that you can download. Now, they're not free, but they are really, really neat and they're really cool if you're working with animated designs and you haven't got the skills or the time to fully animate your typography. Just rolling my cursor over the font will actually reveal the animation itself. One of my favorite fonts on this is Isotype. As you guys know, I do have you know a few isometric tutorials but one really neat thing about this website is that you can actually view videos. So for example, we have Radnika right here, and I'm just gonna let this play through for a few seconds. So yeah, that was animated fonts to download, but let's move on to the last edition in today's video on, on typography resources. Now this last one is kind of a bit fun, but it's also educational. And that is a dating game based around matching different fonts. So I'm gonna go for this sleek and tall sans serif here and ask a little background information about it. 
So once you've chosen the font you want to pair it with a date, you have four options on how to match up this font. Relying on family, seeking similar, embracing the other and exploring the past. Now I'm going to go for three because that's relating to contrast. And so what kind of font am I going to choose to contrast this sans serif? I could go for a thicker, bolder font, but I'm personally going to choose a serif font because, you know, that's a nice, easy contrast to make. And once you've chosen it, it does show how it matches up together here, but we're going to send them on a date. And congratulations, you've made a successful match. Now it says here why the pair works. It gives some background information on both of the fonts and then actually has a real example of both of them in use. As you can see, there's a wine menu right here with both fonts side by side paired up. But yeah, this is a really neat way to explore how to pair typography and just to learn a thing or two about certain fonts and so forth. As a lot of you will know, I've recently returned from Asia at the start of this month and I have just become sick now. So I do hope it is a cold and you know, not anything more serious like the coronavirus or whatever. I'm still making videos. So if you want to subscribe for weekly graphic design content, go ahead and do that if you haven't done it already. And until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.